this is my first time in Ostrava and uh, I'm really pleasantly surprised. It's a beautiful city and, and um, I've only ever been to the Czech Republic once and this is my, my second time, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. First concert in the Czech Republic, yeah. My family, actually, my grandparents are from not too far from here. Uh, they are from near Krakow. So, uh, so uh, um, this is in some ways a, a coming home. When I program a recital, it, each one is very, very different, has its own world. Uh, sometimes it's, you program a recital a little bit like you choose how you cook a meal. You really know what you want to cook most, and then you start to think, okay, what can come before, what can come after, what is complementary, what is contrasting, how do you build the whole journey around it. And in this case, that was the, um, the process for this recital. I first encountered a piece by Thomas Addis, which is one of my favorite contemporary composers, uh, called Variation for Clara, and it was a piece he originally wrote to be part of an opera that he wrote, The Exterminating Angel. But to me, it sounded very Baroque. It was very much inspired, and, and the flavor of it, for me, it sounded like a saraband, uh, a, a dance from the Baroque era. And I thought it would be really interesting to contextualize it in that way. Baroque Suite was maybe the earliest form of uh, musical, of purely musical form. Uh, it came out of, of dances that used to be in the court of the, the kings and at some point when the Baroque masters started writing these pieces they were not meant to be danced to anymore they were really complex interesting pieces so I decided to build a Baroque suite modeled after those where the structure is the same but each piece is by a different composer and that it would time travel between the Baroque and all the way to the present day and I've always been fascinated by the conversations that composers have with each other over several centuries. So this is, for me, the best way to, to demonstrate that in, in my, own, my own way. The second half of the recital, actually, uh, after this suite, after this uh, uh, kind of imaginary time-traveling suite, is uh, Brahms' uh, variations on a theme by Handel. So it is also a variation on a suite. It's, it's, uh, Brahms took a, a, a piece or a theme from a suite by Handel, a Baroque suite, and he built this incredible set of variations out of it. So in some ways we see how uh, a romantic composer took the Baroque and uh, insp it inspired him to, to create this, one of his best masterpieces.